welcome to the Bobbin and Wentford Railway. Uh, I know this is a repeat visit for many of you, and if you're here for the first time, you're all very, very welcome. And thank you for bringing some nice Cornish weather with you. Um, just a few words from me, because this is the first time in anger, really, that we've seen this uh, train, which is called an auto train. Um, auto trains have been part of railway history for, for, for some time now, but this is the first day that we've seen it here or, uh, in public service um, on the Bobbin and Wentford Railway, and we have, obviously we'll be using it a lot more now for many years to come. The story, so far as we're concerned, goes back to the late 2007 when um, we bought the coach, which looks quite different to uh, as it was now. It was virtually gutted inside and fitted out as a director's saloon by the, the railway we bought it from. Um, and we were anxious that we wanted to fit it back as close as possible to how it was built. It was built in 1951. Uh, so. That arrived early in 2008, but of course then we didn't have an engine really to be able to pull it, because you, when you get a chance to look at it, if you look between the, the engine and the coach, there are some special uh, controls um, that are unique to particular engines. So later that year, 2008, we then went out and bought the engine, um, as you do. Um, and. Uh, that was the start of our auto train, but the coach has really seen an awful lot of work. It's literally been our, in our workshop for the last two years. Um, and I'm told, and I'm certainly not going to attempt to name them because you're always in danger of missing someone out, but I'm told that nearly 50 people have had some involvement in the restoration, the overhaul of this coach. And I'm sure you'd agree it looks absolutely fantastic. And when you get inside it, I think you'll be even more impressed. Uh, even down to the detail like the leather straps, um, the maquette that the train's <coughs> fitted out with, um, is all as close as possible as we can get to as it was when it was built. Uh, the whole idea of an auto train, I suppose we're all used to thinking of, tr of a train as being a locomotive pulling some carriages or wagons. And when it gets to its destination, uh, you either put an engine on the other end and out goes the train, or you have to what we call run the engine round, so it uncouples and goes round to the other end of the train. Um, those of you, who, of you who travel on the main line railway these days, those days have almost gone. It's now the driver that changes engine. You've almost got a locomotive or a driving compartment at each end, and it's the driver that does the walking from one end to the other. And the auto train was very much the forerunner of that. It looks a normal passenger coach, but you'll see when you got in, in, in that end, the opposite end to the engine, is a compartment for, for the driver to drive. And the idea was to try and save money and the engine and train would operate as a train in push and pull fashion. So when it's going that way, of course, as, it, as you watched it coming into the platform, the engine would be leading. When it's going that way, the driver will be driving from the coach there. Uh, and it's, there's no electronics or pneumatics that you would, as, a, as you would find on modern trains, it's all done with mechanical linkage. All that's had to be fabricated by the way. So uh, this is our Great Western Auto Train. It's another piece of Cornish Railway history which we're very keen to promote and we, which I feel is one of our uh, strong points. Uh, they were used in various parts of Cornwall, the nearest to here being Lost Withy or Tafoy, that branch in, in times gone by. And it's very much ours to keep, if you like, now, and we'll be using it a lot um, over the next few years. So far as today's concerned, we'll get as many of you in as we can. Please be patient. We're going to do a short little trip just round the corner so you can just get a feel for what it of the train. Um, and then it'll come back into the platform. And then later in the afternoon, and I hope many of you will be staying with the afternoon for us, it will make, I'm just looking at my timetable here to check, it will make three trips along the whole line, or, you know, a good part of the line. So if you are able to stay for the rest of the afternoon, you can enjoy the splendour for the rest of the day. So thank you very, very much for coming. You're all very, very welcome, and again, and enjoy the ride.